Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Bailey and I'm the owner of Goo Goo Goods. Today's video is going to be another craft fair vlog. I am in my car and about to head to St. Petersburg for the mezzo market. This is the second mezzo market that I've ever done. The first one was not super great, but I think that was a combination of where my booth was and also it was like pretty cold for Florida. So I think that the crowds were like not as good as they were expecting them to be. I still did pretty good. I still did around like 600 something dollars, but the booth fee for this is a little pricey it's like 115 and it's like a little bit over two hours away so it is like an all-day experience for me but i'm about to head down there right now and i'm really excited because i'm gonna be in what i think is a better area like a better location of my booth and i'm gonna be near my friend casey and dylan from forever booked so and they said the side was better than when they did one at the other side so and i did one like on like a weird like offshoot street last time so this new location is definitely i think going to be better because it's on like the main strip of where people are walking so i think that's going to be good um i should have a little bit over an hour and a half to get set up i think i'll be able to get it done in that time because i've definitely been like faster at getting set up um the only things that are different is i brought my hollow back mannequins and i'm not actually taking them out of the package so i have to put those together and put shirts on them to hang up and um i think that's pretty much the only thing that kind of might slow me down i got a new mirror because the mirror that i had gotten from amazon came broken so i don't actually know if it's in here or not i don't know if ethan put it in here yeah i think he did so i also have to like open that up and set that up too and i'm gonna be putting my keychains on the um, grid wall so that's also kind of a new thing that i'm gonna have to figure out um but i think i should i should have enough time to do everything the only thing that's like a little bit annoying about this one is i think after i unload my stuff i have to park in like kind of a lot that's a little bit further away than i probably would like to have it be but i don't think i have to like cart anything over there which is good but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and head down there right now and like i said it's like seven in the morning and it's not that early but i feel like i look and sound like so tired so i should get there around 9 11 is what it's saying um yeah so like seven o'clock i'm gonna get there at 9 11 and yeah so on the way down there i'm probably going to just be listening to new moon i think i talked about that in the last vlog and this is just like a quick little aside but i was super into twilight in like middle school and high school and it is so funny because i feel like as like a teen preteen, i was like super super into like team edward i was like edward is her true love like yada yada but as like an adult who's in like a loving relationship with my partner Jacob is definitely the better choice. Um, let me know in the comments below if you're Team Edward or Team Jacob, but I definitely think that Jacob is a, definitely a better partner. And I mean, I get it. Edward's supposed to be like gorgeous and just like this like perfect being, but he is not nearly as nice or as good for Bella as Jacob is. Um, I guess it all works out in the end, but definitely as an adult, I realize that Bella and Edward are extremely toxic and Jacob was definitely the better choice for her. Um, so yeah, that's my little tidbit. I probably am still Team Edward just because of my core. I still am that uh, teenage girl who was like really into that. But I definitely think that Jacob is the better choice for her. But that's that's neither here nor there. I'm going to go ahead and head down to St. Pete. And I think it's actually supposed to be a good weather day. I think Ethan said that the high was 78. So that's not bad at all. I brought my fan just in case. But yeah, I'm excited to get down there and see what the day holds for me because it's definitely going to be a long one. Don't 
After much ado, I'm all set up and ready to go. So this is where I put my keychains. I think I want to figure out something better to do with that because I think it'd be, I don't know. I think it looks good for now, but people with like want this one, they have to like pull these off. So I'll have to think about what I want to do in terms of that. But other than that, I think that looks really, really cute. Same as always, here are those hollow back mannequins. I'm trying to think about where I want to put this one. That looks good. So I've got my racks got this rack here's one of the hollow back mannequins right here I need to take stock of what sizes I have of everything but here are all of those pullovers here are my customs it's very poly over here so I'm having some pollen situations there's my customs here's my new mirror that has the working hangings like that there's that got my checkout and this is how I have this right now and because it's kind of windy I put some bins behind it so they don't fly that way. They're gonna fly anyway. They'll fly right here or towards me. Yeah, that is what we are looking back. I have like a bunch of the hollow back mannequins and maybe I'll put them up. I don't know. So it took me a little bit longer to set up than I would have liked to and it's actually pretty hot and the market started at 11 and right now it's 11.24. So no sales so far, but there are a bunch of people coming through. So the goal for today is going to be a thousand. So yeah, so I'm gonna do it. Let's go ahead and make a thousand dollars. 12 o'clock check-in, so kind of a slow first hour. I'm like at $95. I sold a pullover, a t-shirt, and a hat. Um, I've had a lot of people come in and look at the t-shirts and look at the hats and everything, so hopefully that means that we're gonna have more sales coming up. And my goal, I said, was $1,000, and that's because I factor in the fact that I had to drive like a little bit over two hours to get down here, so that's like over four hours round trip, because it will take me longer to get back home because the traffic's going back in like towards like Disney going towards like Orlando going north is always like really bad really crazy no matter what time of day it is so it takes a long time to get down here and the booth fee was 115 and then I pretty much lost my whole day to doing this so if I don't make a thousand dollars it's definitely probably not gonna be worth it to me to do it again um, because like the last time I made a little bit over six hundred dollars and it was kind of a slow day so I would think that on a good normal day I'd make a thousand so let's just hope that works out and I'm gonna put you up in the corner and kind of show you the traffic over here it is pretty bumping so hopefully more people come in and buy stuff but I definitely had a lot of people taking pictures of the hat shirts and everything so hopefully that translates into later sales Goal is might be might be done. I still have three more hours, so if I make 
like $800 in the next three hours. That's gonna be pretty crazy uh, next couple of hours. But I've definitely, uh, you know, I've officially made back my food fee. But I also need to take into account that I had to pay to park, which is kind of an annoying thing because I chose a lot that's pretty close, which is, you know, I think that's important. I don't wanna have to like walk super far to go get my car. Um, you know, just for safety and also it's really hot outside. So the lot that I parked in, I thought it was $20 max the whole day, but it's actually like $11 for every three hours. So I had to go ahead and re-up that. And the market will still not be over by the time I have to re-up again. So that's like $33 of my profits. So that's not super good. So yeah, so I'm hoping that the next couple hours do really, really good. I mean, it's been really slow coming, uh, people coming into my booth. So I don't really know how it's gonna go. I'll put you up in the corner and see if you can see anything. But right now, it's very, very slow. Someday in pouring rain I felt kind of low Is it all in vain Then you hit me up And Everything just turned Again For one or two Maybe three years I've been feeling nothing At all but then I saw your Face Lighting up my Space Got me going check-in so we're doing okay we're at 309 which isn't super duper great because I really only have like two hours left but I'm actually a little bit late to this check-in because a friend and subscriber on YouTube Diane her and her husband came and talked to me for a long time so that was really really fun I'm really glad that they came and visited me um, but yeah we're not doing like super duper hot um, so I don't think the thousand dollar goal is going to work out so I'm a little bit mm, I'm not super into that but it is kind of starting to cool down a little bit which I like but yeah, so I'm hoping the next couple hours are a lot better because right now I think I've covered my booth fee and possibly my parking, but not really like my product fees, like my cost of my goods. So I'm hoping the next two hours are a little bit better. So yeah, let's just go ahead and knock this out. Three o'clock check-in. So yeah, we are at 341. So I'm gonna say the thousand dollar goal is not happening today. Um, yeah, that's a little bit annoying. Casey was saying that it was also really slow for her today too, even slower than the last time she was here, which was a rainy day. So yeah, that's not good. I don't know if maybe it's too hot or what the situation is, because um, it seems like there's a lot of people. I don't know. I always feel bad for the people who have like food stuff, because there's a guy in front of me who has like guacamole and salsa and stuff like that. And so he's selling guacamole for $8. So like you guys sell a lot of guacamole to make your booth be back and I've not really seen too many people actually buying guacamole. I've seen a lot of people sampling the guacamole. So I always feel bad about stuff like that. I always feel like if you like have food and you don't make your booth be back, I would like email and just ask for my money back. Um, yeah, so that is how it's going right now. So I have one hour left, so I don't know. Maybe the next hour I'll make over $600 and I'll make my goal and I'll go buy some guacamole. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll buy some guacamole. So let's just go ahead and knock this out. I probably won't check in until I'm back at the bar. I'm all packed up and about ready to go home. Right now it's like 5.30 and I think it's gonna take me quite a long time to get home. But I think I might have gotten a little bit sunburn again. Something about being out here in St. Pete like makes me like super sunburn even when I'm like under my tent. But it was not a super successful market day and everyone around me also felt the same. Like Casey was like saying this was even worse, like I said earlier, worse than the rainy day they had. And the person in front of me said the same thing and the people beside me also said the same thing. So they said like the Grand Prix is happening today and I think there are vendors over there too, so I don't know like if that's what was going on. I'm not really quite sure, but I ended the day at 3, 368, which is not super great considering I had to drive down here to St. Pete, I spent my whole day down here, and then you know I had to pay 115 for the booth fee, and then I paid, ended up having to pay like $33 in parking. I don't know where people are getting parking where it's like $20 all day and you don't have to worry about it. I'm not sure where they're doing that. I need to ask uh, Dylan where they parked. But so a couple of things that I need to try to work on going into the future. Either figure out a way to pack less stuff or take a better mental picture of how Ethan packs the car because he parked like he packs it super good. And I I need to take a better mental picture of how he does it because I feel like whenever I repack the car, it is like it is a stretch getting everything in here, like to the point where I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna get this in here and I'll like think about referring to a video of him packing it. But we're all packed. Something that was really annoying today and I'm having to deal with it right now. There were a lot of little like bugs. 
Someone was calling them aphids. I don't know if they're aphids or not, but yeah, this one's like in my car because they're on anything and everything. It was super polleny and super buggy. Get out of here, bug. So yeah, so that's like really annoying that it was like super like buggy and super polleny. Let me get some hand sanding for that. But yeah, so that's kind of annoying. It was definitely not a success. So I don't know. I may try to like do mezzo market again, maybe in the fall, just because I don't think it's going to be worth it for me, like financially or emotionally to come back down here. Um, during the summer when it's like actually like really, really hot because today it was hot, but like not nearly as hot as it's going to get because it's only March. So I don't know if doing any more like spring or summer markets here is going to be the situation, but my battery's going to die real quick. Let me switch it out. Yeah, like I was saying, there were a ton of little tiny bugs that got like all up in my tent and it was super polleny. So like pollen was on everything. So I'm gonna have to like wipe everything off and like I'm covered in pollen and everyone else around me was covered in pollen. Good thing I don't really have allergies because if I had allergies, that probably would be very, very irritating today for how polleny it was. Um, so yeah, so I think maybe I'm probably just gonna have to wait until the fall to do this like kind of around the holiday time because i think maybe around the holidays i would do really good here so yeah i think that's what we're gonna have to do so i'm probably going to end the craft fair vlog portion of this craft fair vlog and like usual um i don't know what we're gonna get into tomorrow i don't know what the weather is like but we'll probably do something really fun like go to disney or maybe universal maybe but i've been really digging disney and i kind of want to go back to disney and take them on the frozen ride so maybe we'll do that so if you want to stop watching here and you don't want to see us go to disney or do anything like family fun related then you can definitely drop off here but if you want to keep watching uh to see us go to disney then you can keep on watching but if you are dropping off here i want to say thank you so much for watching and if you liked this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more behind the scenes small business content and craft fair vlogs and hopefully you'll keep watching but if not i will see you in the next one thanks for watching bye trees are in green the ocean is gray sky is a vague blue a mess it could use a hand my favorite tv shows are capturing i know i must get it right I must get back in the fight this can't be a surprise i think i'll let it slide i'm sleepwalking through all of my problems and no, i can't make it through every night is the same i keep running Left and right Wondering where my head's gone now I'm sleepwalking Through all of my problems and all All of my problems and all Ready to go The feeling of thirst Desire to be A rock in my heels I'm numb